Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So I've got a fun little pop-up card to show you today. This is the front, I've kept it pretty simple. And then inside you have this fun three panel pop-up. Really easy to do. I've seen lots of these over social media over the years. And this is just my take on that style card. Happy birthday card. I've had a little butterfly there with a little trail using some Nouveau drops. Lots of texture. It's a real tactile card, this one. So I've used the embossing folder there as well throughout. And then on the back there, you've got your space to be able to write your message or you can have it inside in these spaces as well. All stands up. This is a five by seven size, but you can adapt this for any size card that you prefer. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So I've used the Mater Surprise Flowers and Foliage stamp set and also the Floral Sentiments. And then I've used this embossing folder for all of the background. So it's the linen print eight by eight embossing folder. So first of all, you want to make your five by seven card blank if you're making them from scratch. So it's just a piece of 10 by seven. So I've got this purple color here and along that 10 inch side, you're going to score at five and just fold that in half. OK, this is for the bridge part in the middle of the card. So this is three and three quarters by six and three quarters. You can do seven if you want, but I brought it in a little bit just so it's hid, kind of hidden. And then along that short side, you're going to score at seven eighths of an inch, one and seven eighths of an inch, and two and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so you want to make sure that these are all mountain folds. Okay, you're going to add your glue to one of the outer sides. And then you're going to line up the outer side here with the middle score line of the card blank. And because this is slightly shorter than the seven inches, just make sure you've got an equal amount, you know, a little bit at the top that you can't see because it's the same colour. But just make sure this piece is in the middle. If I fold that over, you can kind of see I've got a little bit there of a gap and here as well. OK, and again, you're going to add your glue to the other end. And then fold that down. So you folded the whole thing in half and close the card. So it's sitting right on the fold there. Now, when you open it, you'll have that little triangle shape there. OK, I've then got these pieces here. I haven't stuck this one down. So these two are the same size and they're going to go on the top and the bottom. And they measure two and a quarter by four and one eighth. And then the white card, which I've embossed, is two by three and seven eighths. But the one in the middle is slightly bigger. So this one is two and a half rather than two and a quarter. But it's the same width of four and one eighth. And then this piece here is two and a quarter by three and seven eighths. So I've embossed these two and I'm going to have those both coming off the left. And then this one is going to be stuck to the right side. So it will be like that. But if you want, you could have these two coming off from the right and then the middle one coming off from the left. So it will look like that. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to have mine this way because I've stamped my sentiment towards this bottom right because I want to have flowers overhanging into this part here. So they kind of pop up. So get all the pieces stuck onto the mat layers first. So when these three are laid down next to each other, like so, it comes to seven inches. OK, so you want to line this up with the top of the card. The first one you stick down, so you'll see it will hide this underneath. So I'm just going to use the quick grab glue, actually, just covering that part there. And then just remember which way I did want this. Yeah, because I want that lifted. So I'm sticking these on the left and so just put my finger at the top there so I can get this butted right up to the top. And I'm sticking it all on this platform here. So lift it up a bit if you feel that would be easier. But if you then bring it across, and make sure you push it right into there. And that four and one eighth will bring it right up to the edge of the card. So it's as big as you can get. If you want to bring them in smaller, then you can do. Like so and you'll see now when you open it, it will pop out over to the right side. So then I'm going to take this one and it's going to stick on the right side and stick out to the left. So again, some glue along there and you want to butt this one 
so it hits against this one at the top above it here. Just get it running nice and parallel with the side here, but make sure it's pushed up to that piece. And again, you'll see when it closes, it will all fold in. So I don't know why that's sticking out. Obviously trimmed, made that a little bit longer. You might want to bring them in a little bit. I'm just going to trim the edge of that off. I think I might have gone a little bit bigger with that one. I'm just going to trim that piece off there. There we go. So it's all hidden again. So now you'll see you get the two. And then we've got that last one, which is going to go at the bottom. Then you'll see it runs flush with the bottom of the card. But I'll put in the video, I'd maybe cut yours so that instead of four and one eighth, do four or even three and seven eighths, um, just to make sure. Because if you've maybe brought a shop brought five by seven card, they don't always come up true to size. So then these measurements may not work inside. I've just realized that's lifted a bit there. Let's just fold that down. There we go. But I wanted to get it as close to the edge as possible so that you just had a lot of area to decorate. But now you'll see you've got those cool pop outs and it will all stand up like so so i've then got these two pieces here to go inside so one's going to go under there and this one's going to go on this side and you'll just see it really starts to show off that design and these are three and seven eighths by six and three quarters so you want two of those and then i've got a piece of four and three quarters by six and three quarters which is going to go on the front again i've used that linen embossing folder for all of that Right, so that's everything stuck down. So now it's just left to decorate and this is always the fun part. So I wanna have some of them kind of overhanging. They can overhang down into this space and like up into this space, but you don't want them coming off the edge here. Because if I stick that coming off the edge there, then it's gonna come and stick out the side of your card. So you just have to kind of, what I would do is just kind of lay something down and then see if that's gonna kind of work. But I've got a ton of the flowers here and the little leaves. My sentiment for the front of the card is going to be on your special day and then inside it says happy birthday and then I'll have space on the back here to be able to write my message. You could decorate this little square, this rectangle space here and here as well. If you want to do that, then I would cut a piece of two and a quarter by three quarters and you do three of those. But I'm going to leave, I think I'm going to leave those blank. So I'm going to have a little play around and get this all stuck down and then I'll show you it when I'm finished. So that's the front of the card and then you see that lovely decorated pop-up inside but i thought it'd be nice to add a little bit more yellow and i was going to do a little butterfly trail this is yellow brick road it's one of the nouveau vintage drops so i've also stuck the back on there as well with just one of the extra flowers that i had left over so once i've done this i have to keep it open but i'm just going to add start off a little bit bigger And then just try and make them a bit smaller. I've got a textured, obviously it's embossed. Just tap the back. But I think that just adds a sweet little detail on that side. And it kind of ties in 
the yellow a little bit more as well. I also added my accent glaze to the center of the flowers. I did that before just so it could dry. And the butterfly is from this set here, Butterflies Galore. And I'll have everything linked below the video anyway, so you can check out the products. But I hope you've enjoyed this really easy, you know, pop-up style card from me today. I've loved putting this one together and it was, you know, pretty quick to do. So hopefully it gives you some ideas and you can certainly, I think, make this for many occasions. I think it's going to work really well. So as always, thank you for watching today's tutorial. I have some other fun pop-up cards coming up now, so you may want to go and watch those next. And as always, if you've enjoyed today and not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell, and that way you won't miss out on any future tutorials. See you all again soon. Bye.